there's another day, another dollar, as they say. So, since it's another day, I thought I would discuss tomorrow and what Gurdjieff calls the disease of tomorrow. The disease of tomorrow. So this is from All and Everything. That maleficent property inherent in all of us, which enables us without experiencing any remorse of conscience, whatever, to put off anything we wish to do till tomorrow. We all do that. We all put it off till tomorrow. We need to do it today in the now. Now is the moment. Tomorrow. Put it off till tomorrow. Then tomorrow comes and we're like, oh, I'll do it the next day. And we just keep doing that over and over. We need to live in the now what's happening now and do it now today and he carries on in all and everything thanks to this abnormal hope of theirs a very singular and most strange disease with a property of evolving arose and exists among them even until now disease called tomorrow this strange disease tomorrow brought with it terrifying consequences and particularly for these unfortunate free brain beings who chance to learn and to become categorically convinced with the whole of their presence that they possess some very undesirable consequences for the deliverance from which they must make certain efforts. And which efforts, moreover, they even know just how to make. But owing to this maleficent disease tomorrow, they never succeed in making these required efforts. By putting off from tomorrow till tomorrow, these unfortunate beings there who do by chance learn all about what I have mentioned are also deprived of the possibility of ever attaining anything real. And we do have it here. We have all and everything, the book to read from. We have lots of books on Gurdjieff to follow through. There's other books as well. You know, you might be into other things, Buddhism or whatever, you know, that help us to develop ourselves. And we read them and we think, oh, I'll do, I'll do that later. Well, maybe we should be doing it now. OK, everyday life gets in the way, but we need to put a little bit time aside every day to work on ourselves. You know, I, I remember years ago, I used to get up just half an hour earlier than I had to to go to my normal day job. I'd get up half an hour earlier so I could do the exercises. I know some people that do them in the evening or you know, some people save it. For midday, Gurdjieff used to specify, find a time to do it. Choose a time every day and remember yourself and do your exercises. So carrying on all and everything. Owing to the said maleficent disease tomorrow, most of these unfortunate beings there who accidentally or owing to a conscious influence from without become aware through their reason in them of their complete nullity and begin to sense it with all their separate spiritualized parts and who also chance to learn which and in what way being efforts must be made in order to become such as it is proper for free brain beings to be. Also by putting off from tomorrow till tomorrow, almost all arrive at the point that on one sorrowful day for themselves, there arise in them and begin to be manifested those forerunners of old age called feebleness and infirmity, which are the inevitable lot of all cosmic formations, great and small, towards the end of their completed existence. You know, one day you'll just find out that you're an old person, you know, in the last few years of your life and you haven't worked on yourself when you could have done it when you were younger. Or if you are an old person now, no, no insult to, to old people, pensioners or whatever, we're all as young as we feel in our hearts. Start today. Start working on yourself today. There's no excuses for not working on yourself except for your own excuses. So this is from In Search of the Miraculous. There is a definite time, a definite time for everything. Possibilities for everything exist only for a definite time. So there are these kind of warnings that, you know, the teaching could disappear or you might find yourself distracted and no longer be looking at this kind of work and then suddenly you forget about it and you haven't worked on yourself and the time goes past and I don't want to be a poo poo about all this, but you know, we need to do it now. If you want tomorrow to be different, you must make today different. 
it is useless to think of the possibility or impossibility of big and distant achievements. A man must value what he gets today without thinking of what he may get tomorrow. You know, we live in dreams of that we're going to develop ourselves and we're going to become harmonious and fully centered, awake people. But we need to actually work at it to make it happen. Daydreaming will not make it happen. We have to do the work. Spensky still from Search for the Miraculous. A man always wishes to begin with something big, but this is impossible. There can be no choice. We must begin with things of today. So you work with what you've got with you today, what you know today you work with. And as you're working with it and time goes on over the future, the tomorrows of, will bring new knowledge, new ways of thinking, new ways of working on yourself, because as you start working on yourself, it attracts the teaching to you and attracts attention, attracts. Well, I find myself, I have a book angel. I might have mentioned this before. The right books suddenly start appearing where I need them or the right teachers might be for you or the right YouTube show might suddenly appear and things start falling in your way. It's like it knows you're on this path. So it wants to help you, whatever it is. But um. To do this, we need to do it from today, from the now. We need to start working on ourselves. Yesterday, I did something about tension and about the body. You know, that's why I made that a short show. So hopefully people would go off and start working on their bodies and releasing that tension from themselves or recognizing where that tension is and working on it. Well, now this is one saying that this is the day to start. Maybe this show will help prod you onwards because we all need a little prod now and then to do these things. So wishing you all well as usual and speak to you again soon.